I'm with my buddy Matt today from MP Systems and we're gonna talk filtration. Not the kind that I need on my mouth because sometimes I talk too much, but for your machines and Matt is the expert, so I'm grateful to be here today. Matt, let's talk filtration, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so CDR. What does CDR stand for and what does it actually accomplish? So the official name, it stands for Cyclonic Debris Removal System. Unofficially, we like to say it's Cyclonic Done Right. I like the unofficial name. So what does cyclonic mean? So cyclonic is basically spinning. Uh, you're taking a fluid and you're spinning at a high velocity and centrifugal force is pulling the heavier particles to the outside and we're able to remove that and basically separate coolant from solids. How does this differentiate from say standard type of filtration? Uh, the, the biggest benefit of cyclonic is that there's no disposable media. It's basically zero maintenance. So you're able to hook this thing up, let it run. It keeps all your stuff clean and doesn't require any maintenance. What happens to the machines if we don't use filtration? So what I like to say, it's like running, running your car without an oil filter, right? You're taking a dirty fluid and running it through really you know, important components of that machine that's just over time gonna wear everything out. It's gonna shorten the, your tool life, your machine life. It's gonna just wreak havoc on everything. You, you wouldn't run a, a car without an oil filter. You shouldn't run a machine tool without a filter as well. I did, however, try to run one of my cars without changing the oil, and that didn't end well either. <laughs> Have you ever tried running without an oil filter? <laughs> so yeah, similar, <laughs> similar thing. It's not good. No, it's not. And I've also been in the machinist world where we didn't use filtration of any kind, and it just really built up at the bottom of that tank, and so much so that I didn't have as much coolant in my tank as I thought I had. So then I would walk away from my machine and I would come back to my machine and just a drip is coming out. And I thought I had a full tank because it's yep. at the rim without realizing how yep. much density of chips is in my tank. Well, that's what a lot of people don't realize is that when, when that debris comes into your tank, it does one of two things. One, it enters into your coolant tank and it'll settle down to the bottom. That's like what you're talking about where it builds up over time and sometimes not that long of a time, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks can actually fill up that tank with so much debris that it's di displacing the coolant. So one, the coolant has a hard time finding its way, you know, it has to go through this labyrinth of chips to get from, you know, the conveyor to the, to the pumps, but also it's displacing that coolant. So what was at one point a hundred gallon coolant tank, now it's filled with 70 gallons of chips. Now it's only a 30 gallon coolant tank and you start star starving pumps, running dry, machines alarming out, it causes a lot of issues. But also not only it, does it cause issues with that that uh, debris settling in the bottom of the tank, but sometimes depending on the type of material you're cutting, it can stay suspended in that coolant. And what happens there is that your coolant pumps suck it back up, and like we were talking about with the oil filter, it just keeps constantly cycling it through your machine, wearing out parts, you know, killing the life of your machine, clogging up lines, just becomes a huge maintenance issue. Um, not something you want to deal with if it's, you're able to avoid it. And CDR helps with all of this, right? And That's how much maintenance goes into it? That's what it's specifically designed for, and we designed it to be a zero maintenance uh, machine. Uh, basically, when it has a settling tank, right? So the, the, the cyclones, uh, a pump takes the fluid out of your tank, runs it through the cyclones, separates that, that debris, and then that debris settles in our settling tank. And when that fills up, it holds about 10 gallons worth of debris. When it fills up, uh, we provide a rake. You take a five gallon bucket, you slide it underneath there, and you rake it out. It takes about three minutes, you don't get your hands dirty, you don't have to bend over, and like I said, probably maybe once every two months, two minutes, that's that's the maintenance that goes into it. I love easy technology like that, right? Now, exactly. Matt, there's a buzzword going on in the industry right now, and that buzzword is automation, right? Automation is everywhere. Is this yep. implemented in an in a automation style as well? Yeah, so that was actually the specific demand that, that helped uh, um, prompted us to design this product was because everybody wants to run, they want to run lights out, they want to run maintenance free, they want to run through the weekend, and you can't do that when your machine's alarming out, right? Unless you have, you can afford to have a full-time maintenance team, you know, on staff, not just during the day shift, but also through the night, through the weekends, and nobody can afford that. So we designed this product to allow customers to be able to run through the night, through the weekend, without shutting down for machine stoppages. I gotta be honest with you, Matt. I do a lot of conversations about automation. And this is the first time, thanks to you, that I have considered that part of automation, right? We all think about it, we all need to have it. The robots and cobots are everywhere at this point. The pallet chain systems, the bar feeds, we all know they're there, but it can alarm out with this type of an issue or yep. not even alarm out, but have a drip 
in the coolant tank like I've had before, and then yep. we come back to work and it's all bad parts. Yep. Thank you for enlightening me on that subject, my friend. Bad parts, coolant, you know, uh, a flood of coolant on the floor, and it only takes one, you know, one soft alarm to stop running through the weekend, and you just lost, you know, 48 hours worth of cutting time. Well, Matt, now that you've blown my mind, and I want to learn more about this, I'm sure there are other people out there right now with the same mindset. What's your website, and how can we find out more about MP Systems? The easiest way to find us would be mp-systems.net, um, and if you go on our, our website and just click filtration, uh, we've got lots of cool videos. Actually, this video that's running behind you right right now, um, we've got an ROI calculator, which actually I, I meant to mention that. It's basically, if you're trying to figure out how much money you can save by installing a CDR, um, you can punch in the numbers. It's right on our website, and it'll basically give you a readout, like you save this many dollars per year having this system set up on your equipment. mp-systems.net. I'm gonna go yes. there right away because I'm very curious on that ROI that you just explained. Matt, thank you for sharing this story with yep. the audience. You're amazing. I appreciate it, guys, gals. I hope you've learned as much as I have today. I hadn't even thought about that automation side of things, but now I will moving forward. Thanks to my buddy Matt here.